Okay, so <clears throat> continuing with law of signs, basically you just have to be really careful when you do these. If you're only giving one angle first, um, you're going to have to look for that side side angle and just make sure is it one triangle, two triangles, or no triangles um, when you're doing that. And so when I draw this, right, I always draw it the same. It doesn't matter what the angles say, but this one tells me that angle A is 32.5 degrees, side A is 5.2, and side B is 7.5. And so when I have this, which is angle side side, uh, the only thing I can solve for is angle B first. And so if I'm solving for an angle first, I'm always going to be aware of that uh, possibility of no triangle or two triangles. And so I'm going to say that sine of B over 7.5 equals sine of 32.5 over 5.2. And so I'm going to type this all at once on my calculator. I'm going to multiply by 7.5. Uh, let me get a calculator. And so make sure you're in degree mode, sine of 32.5 divided by 5.2 and then times 7.5 gives me, and you always want to do a, a, quite a bit of decimals here, I always just write them all down, right? If that was over 1, I know that there's no triangle possible because sine can't be over 1, but now to solve for B, that's where I'm going to do inverse sine of that right, of this number. So I'm going to do inverse sine of 0.774951358. And that gives me that angle B is 50.8 degrees. Or I have to think of the possibility, right? And because it's sine, just like we said yesterday, sine is positive here and here. So that second angle is always going to be 180 minus that. So 180 minus 50.8 degrees. The other angle B would be 129.2 degrees. And if angle B plus angle A is less than 180, then that means that there's two triangles in this, right? And so there is. There's two triangles in this. So now I just solve for all the other missing sides which means the next, the easiest thing for me to solve for next would be angle C. And again, I just use capital letters. Um, Ivy Tech usually uses um, alpha, beta, and gamma. Gamma kind of looks like a Y. But now I'm just going to take 180 minus, what was that, 32.5 minus 50.8 to give me 96.7 degrees. Or the other angle would be uh, 180 minus 32.5 minus 129.2, which gives me 18.3 degrees. And then my last step to solve for is little c, which is side c. And I'm going to use the given information every time. So I'm going to say 5.2 over sine of 32.5 equals side C over sine of 96.7. And all I got to do is multiply sine of 96.7 to the other side, right? And so I can take sine of 96.7 times 5.2 divided by sine of 32.5. And I get like 9.6 as my answer. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one, except for now, instead of sine of 96.7, it's the sine of 18.3 degrees, right? And so there's a lot of calculator use on this, and it's just keeping everything straight, which is why I want you to practice doing this. Sine of 18.3 gives me 3. Um, if I'm only going one decimal, it's 3.0, right? 3.04, but I'm just going to go one since that's what I'm being consistent with. Biggest angle across from biggest side, so you can at least see if that makes sense. But just another example of that um, uh, case, the ambiguous case, right? So just look out for it. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about today is uh, story problems, okay? So this one says, Forest Ranger Chris at Ranger Station A 
sites of fire in the direction 32 degrees east of north, so I'm going to call this Ranger Station A, and Ranger Rick at Ranger Station B, sites of fire, uh, the same fire on a line 48 degrees west of north. Find the distance from each Ranger Station to the fire. So this one's kind of written weird. They're not all written like this, but if we're talking about 32 degrees east of north, think about this would be north. So 32 degrees east of north would be here. So think about what this would be, would be 90 minus 32, right? Which would be, uh, what, 58 degrees? Stop it. Now on this one, Ranger Station B, um, he uh, cites the line of fire 48 degrees west of north. So this is north. So west would be coming back this way. So this would be 48 degrees which would make this, what, 42 degrees? So you have to be kind of careful the way it's written. Uh, and so if I call this C, um, it says find the distance from each ranger station to the fire, and also station A is 10 miles from station B. So what I'm looking for are these other two sides, where I would call this little B and this little A. So this is not angle side side because I could find angle C right away. Um, and I need to find angle C to do the, the rest of this problem. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to do 180 minus 58 minus 42 to get that this is 80 degrees. Uh, and then I'm just going to set up A over sine of 58 equals 10 over sine of 80. And the same thing for side B over sine of 42 degrees equals 10 over sine of 80. And I'm okay if that's all you write and you do the rest on your calculator. Um, 10 divided by sine of 80 and then times sine of 58 gives me 8.6 miles, and this one is um, 10 divided by sine of 80, and then times sine of 42 degrees gives me 6.8 um, miles. Be really careful to answer the question though, like little a is actually the distance from station B, so 8.6 miles from station B, and little b is actually the distance to station A from station A. So they figured out who could get there first, right, after they did their trigonometry. No one, buddy, please stop. No, I'm changing to the next one. Please stop. Stop clicking things. Okay, so what about this one? It says two observers are 600 feet apart on opposite sides of a flagpole. Um, the angles of elevation from the observers to the top of the pole are 19 degrees and 21 degrees. To find the height of the uh, thing. All right, no one's going to draw. Let's draw over here, out of the way. Okay, stay over here. Ignore Nolan. Okay, so two observers are 600 feet across. So we have one observer on one side and another observer on the other side. And the total distance here is 600 feet. And then um, the angle of elevation from the observers, one is 19 degrees. So remember, angle of elevation is from the ground to the top. So this one is 19 degrees and the other one is 21 degrees. So how do, uh, how do we figure this out? If we're trying to find the height of the flagpole, um, we, we know this is 90, right? But we don't know any other side of these individual right triangles. Um, so what we do know is the total distance is 600. And the fact that these are different angles of elevation tell me that this is not 300 and 300. It's close, but it's not exactly. So that means I need to find one of these sides first. And it honestly doesn't matter which one we find first, but we got to find one of them. So you just have to decide, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is find that big angle, 180 minus 19 minus 21, would mean that this whole thing up here is 140. And I'm just going to solve for this side over here. So I'm going to call this X for now. 
And I'm going to use law of sines because I can say x over sine of 19 degrees equals the side and angle that I know would be 600 over sine of 140 degrees. And so I would get 600 divided by sine of 140 times the sine of 19 gives me 303.89648. And again, because I'm not to the final answer, I don't want to round until the end. Um, but now I can use that, which is this side, to solve for H. And if you want, you could do law of signs again. Uh, but since it's a right triangle, I'm just going to go back to good old Sokotoa, and I'm going to use this angle, and this would be the opposite side, H would be the opposite side, and X would be the hypotenuse. So I'm just going to say the sine of 21 degrees equals H over X, which is 303.89648. No one, buddy. And if you did law of signs, you would have to use sine of 90. Sine of 90 is 1, so maybe you can see where law of signs comes from. How did you learn how to do that? All right, so I'm going to take 303.89648 times the sine of 21, and I get that the height is 108.9 feet if I was rounding to one decimal point. So in tomorrow in class, we're going to focus more on the story problems um, because hopefully you're feeling pretty good about law of signs. Okay, I'm done.